need to renew and restore. Yeah. But we also need to remind and remember. The Bible says that Samuel took a stone yeah. and said it between Mizpah and Shane. Call the name of it Ebenezer, yes. saying that hitherto hath the Lord helped us. Yes. After God had shown himself to be their help, right. Samuel took it among himself to set up a memorial, mm -hmm. not just for generations to come, uh -huh. but for the generation that God was dealing with right then. Uh -huh. They had just come out of idolatry. Uh -huh. They had just seen the power of God manifested right before their eyes. And so Samuel wanted to be memorialized with a stone. Uh -huh. So Samuel set up a stone in the place where God took care of the battle. Uh -huh. And the place where the children of Israel was able to chase them for the rest of the battle. Uh -huh. The Lord started the battle. Ended the battle yeah. and allowed the children of Israel to run them off and gain credit. Yes. I like the fact that Samuel took a stone uh -huh. and named the stone Ebenezer, saying that hitherto hath the Lord helped us. Uh -huh. Samuel set up a reminder of the fact that God is a very present help yes. in the time of trouble. Yes. Samuel called the place Ebenezer. Because he realized that up to this point, yeah. the Lord has helped us. Yeah. Not those idols, but the Lord. Right. Not our strength, but the Lord. Yeah. Not our power, but the Lord. Right. Not our military strategy, but the Lord. Yeah. Right. Samuel said, hitherto hath the Lord helped us. Right. This stone was a visual testimony. To that generation and to generations to come of God's ability to help his children. Yeah. This stone represented the undeniable truth yeah. that God will come through for you yes, when you keep your hand in his hand. Yeah. This stone testified to the fact that, that God will never leave you hanging. Because this stone says that God is my help. And every time they had the privilege of looking at that stone, they were reminded that God is my help. Every time a child passed by the stone, they were reminded that God is our help. Every time they stumbled over the stone, they could be reminded that God was their help. And this is why we here celebrate this day today. Because God was our help. He has blessed us to be mortgage free. Because God was our help. God made sure that enough money stayed in the bank. Because God was our help. God saw to it that the note could be paid. God made sure he had the right people at the right place at the right time to keep the doors of the church open at 5964 Narrow Lane Road. God is our help and because God has helped us, we'll celebrate the fact today that we don't have to pay First Tuskegee Bank any more church notes because God is our help. We realize that at this point in Narrow Lane's history that we can do anything but fail because there's one thing that we realize now that we understand that God is our help and that is that no weapon formed against us shall prosper because God is our help. We know that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Now that we know that God is our help. We know that all things work together for good for them that love the Lord. Since God is our help, we know that we can pay and do it for a night, but we also know that joy comes in the morning. Since God is our help, we understand that if God is for you, he's more than the world against 
child. Since we understand that God is our help, we understand that we can do all things through Christ who gives us the strength. Since God is our help, we understand that things that are impossible with men, they are shown up possible with God. Since God is our help, we know that the Lord is our shepherd and we shall not come up home for anything. Since God is my help, I'll pass all my cares on Him because I know that He cares for me. Since God is my help, I understand that I once was young and now I'm just a little bit older and even in my Sing the righteous for Satan. Oh, we see big and praying. Because God is my help. I know that He'll never leave me nor forsake me. So I may boldly say that the Lord is my help. And I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Because God is my help. I can face my conquest. Because God is my help. If I got a battle, keep on just fighting. If I got a river, I'm going to cross it. If I got a valley, I'm just going to walk through it. If I got a hilltop, I'm just going to climb it. If I got a problem, I'm just going to solve it. If I got a conquest, I'm just going to face it. Because when I understand the indication of God being my help, Because God is my help, I can make it and I can take it. Because God is my help, I can look the enemy in the eye and say, bring it on. Because God is fighting my battle, I can tell him the battle is not mine, it belongs to the Lord. And as long as I keep my hand in his hand, the victory is guaranteed. It's a guaranteed fix. As no, no. long as I keep my hand yeah. right. in his hand. Yes, sir. There are times That's right. when you can't rely on people. Yeah. Right. But you can show up and rely on God. Oh, yeah. There were times yeah. in Mary Lane's history. Yeah. Brother Johnson and shared these stories with, with, yeah. with me. That when everybody jumped ship yeah. and paid, yeah. took off and run. All right. And had declared Mary Lane to be closed. Because they left the premise. Uh -huh. They forgot about the fact yeah. that as long as God was with Brother Johnson, yeah. amen and amen. And Lane's doors would never close. Because it ain't about them. Yeah. It's all about what God was. Yeah. They declared, they declared that the doors was going to close. Yeah. And God saw to it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Through that brother and through the other brothers who worked along with him. Yes. Right. That 5964 Narrow Lane Road yeah. Yeah. got to stay open. Yeah. There's work yeah. in this community. Yeah. There's a need for Narrow Lane in this community. And because of that, we're able to say hitherto, yeah. <laughs> have the Lord yeah. Yeah. helped us. Right. <laughs> That's our testimony to Amen. And if you want God to be your help, you got to do what Israel did, Amen. which is get your life together. Right. Some of us have moved out of position. And because of that, God cannot be our help. Because when you leave him, he's looking for you to come back to him. And when you refuse to come back to him, we just read in Proverbs chapter 1. Yeah. Because I called right. yes, and you refused to ask. Yeah. Because I stretched out my hand right. Right. and because you wouldn't reach back to me yes, in the day of your calamity, mm -hmm. I won't laugh at you. Yes, he said, Trouble is sure enough coming. Oh, oh, you better rest assured, trouble is coming. Oh, yes. If you have built your house on a shaky foundation, you're going to fall. Oh. And the fall of your house is going to be great. Oh. So this is the opportunity that you have right now to get things together. Yeah. What you must do if you're already God's child is repent and restore. Mm -hmm. Admit the fact that you have sinned. Amen. Right. 
and that you have repented. You've changed your mind toward whatever that sin 